So before starting this video, I'd love to thank Relevel for sponsoring this entire tree series. Did you know that companies like Google, Apple, Starbucks are now hiring people without any degree or experience? Why? Because they believe that skills are more important than anything else. Now, top companies in India, like the top startups, have also started following this trend by hiring through a platform which is Relevel, which is backed up by an academy. All you have to do is to give the Relevel test and based on your score, this plat send your candidate profiles to 50 plus companies which includes Cred, Upgrad, Vedantu, Rezopay, etc. And you can get selected for a job role within a week. Another amazing thing about Relevel is it's absolutely free. So please make sure you check out the links in the description. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So we're going to solve this problem. Construct a binary tree from an in-order and a pre-order traversal. So if you haven't seen my previous video, can you construct a unique binary tree from any given uh, two pairs of traversal? You should definitely check it out because if you watch that video out, you can understand if an in-order and a pre-order traversal is given, then the binary tree that you create will always be a unique binary tree. Now, what you will be given is an in-order traversal of any given tree and a pre-order traversal of the same given tree that uh, for whose the in-order traversal is given. Now, since you're given both the traversals, you need to figure out for which tree does this uh, in-order and pre, like for which tree is uh, this in-order and pre-order satisfying. So I can say uh, like if I draw the tree like 10, 20, uh, 30 over here, and then a 40, and then a 50, and then a 60. And if you try to write the in-order traversal, you'll actually figure out that the in-order traversal is this. And if you try to write the pre-order traversal, you'll figure out that the pre-order traversal is this. And again, if you don't know in-order and pre-order traversal, uh, make sure you check out my previous videos. You'll understand what is in-order traversal. Now, can we form any other tree? In the previous video, we did see that we cannot form any other tree because the in-order in order is something which is unique if a pre-order is given, right? So I can say this is the tree and that is the question. It will be given in-order, pre-order. And you're going to return me the root of the tree. Yes, you're going to return me the root of the tree. And if I know the root of the tree, I should get the uh, same tree. Like I should get the same tree on in-order and pre-order. That is that is what the question is. So how will you do this? Let's check that out. So each of us know that uh, in-order traversal is nothing but left, root, right, right. I know that. And in-order traversal is nothing but left, root, right. And what is the pre-order traversal? We also know that a pre-order traversal is root left right i think everyone knows this so can i definitely say can i definitely say whatever is the binary tree whatever is the binary tree this 10 i repeat this 10 will always be the root of the binary tree how many of you agree with me i think everyone does the reason is the reason is because if i'm saying root left tree whatever binary tree i take i'll start with the root and that is what the pre order tells you the root perfect now, what does in order say? In order says left, root, right. So if this root exists over here, if this root exists over here, can I say all these nodes on the left will be the part of the left subtree. Now, I don't know how will uh, how they align, but I definitely know that these three nodes will be the part of the left subtree, correct? And can I definitely say these these two uh, nodes on the right will be the part of the right subtree like i can definitely say because i'm very much sure in order means root is at the middle and the left the left guys are on the left and the right guys are on the right so we know that so can i write something like a recursive solution which sees me that hey here's the root can you attach the left to the subtree can you attach the right to the subtree and this subtree will again solve itself as an individual problem now, what was the initial problem that we started off with? We started off with, we have an in-order, we have a pre-order, and we were required to construct this particular binary tree. So what I did was, I just did one step. I just, I just made sure I figured out the root. That was very simple. The starting element will always be the root. And what I did was, I segregated the left and right part. So can I do this? Can I do the similar task for 40, 20, 50? I think I can. If I again have, the in order for this guy and similarly if i have the pre order for this guy if i have these two guys i can again segregate these nodes okay 
let's see if you can do that so i'll come to the left i'll come to the left now since i know the left will have these notes what is the in order of these notes can i say the in order will be 40 20 50 that's the in order i'm very much sure that this is the in order of uh, this because it's this is what the in order will be what will be the pre order if i ask you can i say can i say that if the left subtree contains three notes and since i know it's root left right so the moment you go to the left you again start with root that is what pre order means the moment you go to the left you again start with root so can i say these three elements the first three elements will indeed be your pre order traversal that's 20 40 50 you'll be like yeah you're correct yeah you're correct and similarly can i say for right for right this is going to be my in order correct and these guys like right after these three guys whatever guys are there that is going to be my pre-order i think there's no doubt in that there's no doubt in that correct so we know that now we have two separate questions we are again given an in order we are again given a pre-order and we have to construct a tree or i can say the sub tree it's if i just boil this question to a sub problem it's again a problem of creating a tree where you're given an in order and a pre order. So I've, I've broken the broken the entire question into creating sub trees. And once I create sub trees, I think the entire tree will be constructed. So let's solve this left part and then I'll come back and solve this right part. So on the left, I have this in order and I have this pre order. Again, if I know that a pre order is something like root, left, right, and uh, this in order is nothing but left, root, right. I know that, right? So why don't I again apply the same logic and create a tree? So I can say this is definitely my root. So why don't I attach that over here? So I definitely know this is my root, right? And this is what I can return this left and that will uh, get attached. I'll show you that over the code. So that's, that's 20. So can I say in, in order 20 is here, which is the root. And can I say the left? guy is 40 perfect the left guy comes out to be 40 and this is nothing but the in order traversal this is nothing but the in order traversal and can i say if there is one element of the left subtree then the one element will be the pre-order traversal so the pre-order is this perfect so i figured out the pre-order traversal also of the left now what about the right so the right can i say this will be the right, like anything to the right of 20 will be my right. Perfect. So I'll take that as, as the right. That's 50. I'll take that as the right. And I can say this will be my pre-order traversal. So I've got again the in order and I've again got the pre-order. Remember this, 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 these guys will wait uh, until we form the entire left subtree. So again, the question is again broken down into two sub parts where I, where I have again an in order again a pre-order, again an in-order, again a pre-order. So I, I do have this. So let's solve this. So currently, can I say if on the left, like this is what we have on the left, right? So on the left, the pre-order is 40. So can I say this is the root of the tree? Perfect. So I'll say this is the root of the tree, 40. On 40 is left, do we have anything? And if we do not have anything, this guy will be returning a null. So this is null. On this 40, right, do we have anything? No. So when we call the right guy, we will again get a null. Perfect. So now 40 will come up, come back as a node. And this node will get attached to 20 is left. And we have attached it. I'll show you that in the code. Or uh, just understand. Now on 20 is right, we have this. So again, can I say this? This is the pre-order. This will be the root. So 50 becomes the root. And on 50, the left is nothing. So the left will be attached to null. Doesn't have anything on the right. So it will be attached to null. And this is a node now and that will be returned and attached to 20's right. As soon as 20 has found its left, as soon as 20 has found its right, it will try to return. So 20 as a root gets returned and that gets attached to 10's left. That 10 will go and figure out its right. That is when this will be executed. So let's do that. So as of now, the pre-order traversal is 3060. Can I say this is the root of the tree? I can indeed. I can indeed. So I'll say this is the root of the tree. And can I say for 30, there, there is a left subtree, which will be containing 
uh, 60, like the in order will be 60. So I can say the left will have a in order as 60 and the pre order will be 60 itself. So I can again take a pre order of 60. Now on the right, on the right, do we have anything? No. And we similarly do not have a pre order. So on the right, there will definitely be a null because we did not find anything on the right. But on the left, we did find something an in order and a pre order. So again, if we do the same stuff, we will get a 60. And on the left, we will get a null. On the right, we will get a null. And this will be returned. So a pointer will be there. And again, the 30 tree is completed. So 30 will be returned and the tens right will point to 30. And ultimately, I can say that I have the root and I can return this root, which will be my ultimate answer. So this is how I can create a unique binary tree from a given in order and a pre order traversal. So how to code this? I'll just give you a preview so that you can try by yourself and then I'll be walking you through the code but for a preview like so that you can try. What you can do is whatever in order you have, okay, whatever in order you have been given and you'll be given a pre-order, right? So what is the first step that you're always doing whenever you're given an in order and a pre-order? You're saying that the first guy is always your root and then you're trying to figure out this first guy across the in order. So you can, you can optimize this. If you're looking to find this guy across this, you just hash, hash all the values of in order. Since, since the question states that the in order values will be unique, just hash all the values of in order. So if you, if this number is 12, you can easily figure out where is 12 in the in order using the hash map, like using hashing. Once you figure this out, just tell the, these left guys that, okay, you are the new, you are the new in order of left subtree. Okay. And let's assume there are X elements. Take the first X elements and say that you are the new pre order of the left subtree. So you create a different, like you just call the function saying that this is my in order. This is my pre order. Please create my tree. So you're calling the function again. So it's a kind of a recursive function. And you say that this right portion is going to be my in order for the right. And the remaining elements over here, like remaining elements can be called as my pre order for the right. So again, you just pass an in order and a pre order for the left for the right and they will create themselves. That is how you generally try and, uh, to write a recursive solution. Now I'll be showing you the code and along with that, I'll be doing a example dry run. So guys, as usual, uh, the C++ code is on the left and the Java code is on the right. So we're given the pre-order traversal and that's the pre-order traversal like the example that I'll be doing a dry run on and that is the in-order traversal that is given to you. So initially what you'll do is uh, the entire in-order traversal just put that into the hash map okay. So assuming uh, the in-order traversal is this and you just put it onto the hash map you don't need to do anything else. So what I did was a uh, 0th index, 1st index, 2nd index, 3rd index, 4th index and I just made sure that I put them into the hash map. So 9 will be appearing at 0, 3 will be appearing on 1, 15 will be appearing on 2, 20 will be appearing on 3, 7 will be appearing on 4. Again, you can sort the keys. I've just written the hash map. You can sort it by yourself. So this step does this. Right after that, what I do is I have two pointers. I pass the pre-order into the recursion of build tree. I pass on 0. So this is, this is where I'm pointing for pre-order initially. And then I pass on pre-order size minus one. That is over here. Okay. And right after that, I pass on in order. That's this. And I pass on again the two pointers where one is this, one is this. So basically, uh, the two pointers are called uh, pre-start. That is, where is the pre-order starting? Where is the pre-order ending? Similarly, where is the in starting? And where is the in order ending along with the hash map? Now, what I am doing is, what I am doing is, as long as I have some pre-orders, like as long as I have a pre-order, as long as I have to create a tree, I'll create. If by chance I do not have any pre-order, like I get an empty in array, then I return a null. As I said, in the last step, I'll be returning a null. Or else what I'll do is, I'll create the root. So let's assume, initially, I got the pre-start, the pre-end, the in-start, the in-end as this. Okay, as the name suggests, in-order means in-start, in-end. Pre-order means pre-start and pre uh, end. So what I've done is I've taken the root and I've said, hey, why don't you create a node? So this is the node three. I know this is going to be my root of the tree. So I've created a root. So this is my initial root that's created on the first level of recursion call. Next I say, hey, 
can you figure out where is the in root like where is the in order like where is this three lying so it says in map will say it lies over here so this is where the in root points because you can directly get it from here right now how many numbers are on the left isn't it very easy if you have in root and if you do the in start like you know it's the start pointer so if you figure out you'll get the number of left is one there is one number on the left then i'm saying root dot left why don't you again build yourself with the i'll just pass on the pre-order and i'll say this time the pre-order starts from one pointer next this is my new pre-order it starts from here it goes on by taking one more number so ultimately i can say this is my new pre-order so i've just taken one number and i'm saying this is my pre-order so i'm saying next time the pre-start will be this the pre-end will be this so without actually reducing the array i'm just using these two pointers to mark the reduction of the array so you can see i've just figured out this as the new pre-order for the left guy correct and over here what i've done is i've said for the next guy the in start like wherever i'm standing that will be definitely my uh, starting of the in order and i'm saying in root minus one like this is the in root this is where three exists the root right before that is where my in order will be and that's what i'm passing to build the tree on the left what about right right it's very simple i'm saying pre start pre start is three plus nums left that's one element plus one that is from 20 i'm starting to pre end till this end pointer this is what i'm saying this is going to be my pre order of the next so i've passed on over here see i've taken nums left like from nums left to plus one starts from 20 goes to pre end what about in root so what about in order so can i say i'm if i'm standing at in root in root plus one will be from 15 till the in end so i'll end up taking this as the in order for the right so left right is also passed so you have you have created a figure like you have created a pointer and you have called the left and the right and at the, again the same thing will happen again you will come back again you will create a left root and at the end always return the root so again whenever you will go you will again create it and this guy will be returned and when this guy is returned it automatically attaches to left equal to because this build tree will ultimately return this root and this will be attached to this so i hope you have understood how have i taken the pointers in order to reduce the array without actually reducing the array and that's the c++ code so if i discuss the time complexity it's it's big o of n and if you're assuming log n for hash map you can take log n log n if you're not assuming log n you can take it as n like depending on the hash map you're using you can use big o of n n or n log n what about the space complexity are we using anything extra yes we are using an map extra so that's going to take a big o of n as well as it's an a traversal that you're doing so it's a stack space of a big o of n that you will be using so i can uh, like i can just summarize it to be big o of n and big o of n for the creation of a unique tree from an in order and a pre-order that is given to you so i hope you've understood the entire explanation as well as the code just in case you did please 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 make sure you like this video because it took a lot of efforts to uh, make this entire tree series also if you wish you can definitely drop in a comment that will keep motivating me to make such further series also if you're new to this channel please do consider subscribing because i'm going to bring in such more series in the upcoming future as well with this uh, let's wrap up this video let's meet in the next lecture bye bye take care